what he say? Oh, Benjamin. Benjamin, right? From the tri like. from from the nation of what? Israel. Israel, right? right, right. So you understand that you're what? What's your nationality? Judah. You're Judah. You 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 are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah, right? Yes, yes, yes. What about you, Eric? What's your nationality? Judah, right? You understand that, sis? Now, is for example, you said before before you understand Benjamin, before you understand that, what does West Indian, what does that mean? Or, or Jamaican, you said your father Jamaican? What does that mean? You don't know. Jamaican, Jamaican right? Know, yeah. it, it doesn't mean anything. To us, it doesn't mean anything. To, uh, Jamaican meaning land of wood and water. Are you wood and water? No, right? So that doesn't pertain to you, right? But Israel, Israel has a very important and special meaning to it, right? Let's find out what that meaning is. Read that. Genesis chapter 35, verse 10. Bring it out. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. So God changed our forefather's name from Jacob to Israel, right? Now we're going to get the understanding of what Israel means, right? Read that. Genesis 32, verse 27. And he said unto him, What is thy name? And he said, Jacob. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God. And with men, and has prevailed. So now, as a as a man being uh, us men being princes and kings of this earth, what does that make you? A, a princess, right? So, as princesses that you've seen, do they dress like that? Why? You're royalty. You understand that, right? Bring it out. No, you don't. Because if you understood that, you wouldn't be following Beyonce and whatever else. Where do you get that style from? Where do you get that from? I don't mean to single you out, I'm just using you as an example, okay? Where, where you get that from? The trends, the trends of this world, right? Popular persuasion. Popular persuasion, that's a good one. He been listening to us. You he might as well come up here and teach. Yeah. The popular persuasion, the ways of this world, right? They've taught us that that way is correct. Because you know different than what? All these other women out here, right? All the other women are, are dressed the same way. Why? Because of the persuasion that is brought on to view as that's being beautiful. When God says that's disgusting, he says that's an abomination. That's right. What, what's an abomination? Per definition, do you know? It's something that it, is, it, it's like vomit. Like a dog eating his own vomit. Do you think, you find that attractive? Like a moth. Like a what? Like a moth. Like a monster? Like a rabbit dog. <laughs> <laughs> so now, God says that it's an abomination to dress like that. Give first, uh, first Timothy. There you go, read that. First Timothy chapter two verse nine. Let me ask you a question: If your mother, she, she dressed like that? Sometimes. Your mother? Yeah, sometimes. She she dressed like that, right? Sometimes. Sometimes, right? Do you, okay. do you think that that's something that's appropriate for women to wear? I mean. Do you think it's appropriate? No, just because like if a man goes out wearing a skirt or a dress, he's considered what? Yeah. Uh huh. Right. But like, but, but like, if a woman. Wears pants, but like that woman over there wearing pants, that's not gay. That's what about you? You think that's appropriate? You got sisters? They wore them pants, my boy. Right. You you think you got sisters? You got you got a mother? Do you think that some you would allow your mother to go out the house like that? Would you have you got little sisters? Would you would you allow them to go out the house like that? Okay. That look like the mother, like honestly. Hold on, hold on. I wouldn't. Right. Know. I won't bother this because I really I can't do my ball like this. This is like no, but you can show her. You can show her what God says. Right. You understand God's law. A lot of people read the Bible, but a lot of people don't apply the Bible. Yeah, right. There's a difference. You, you we read the scripture. What does the scripture say? That a woman shouldn't wear what pants. pants, right? So now the second part to it, the first part is understanding and, and knowing, right? Uh, black people know everything. We like to say we know a lot of different things, but the la part we lack the most is what application Bring it up. we hate to apply the things that we know right. we know we should save money we know we should have good credit we know that we shouldn't be sleeping around from different women to women and women sleeping around with men to men because that's how you get what STDs Bring that's how up. you get unwanted pregnancies right that we know these things which what which the attire that you're dressed in my sister that's what the, uh, will eventually lead on to you'll eventually attract the wrong man that will not love you he will have sex with you and abuse you and leave you Dude, with a child up. or with STDs or with both. Okay, up. read Preach. that. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. In like manner also, that woman adorned them 
themselves in modest apparel. Because just because you have a skirt on doesn't mean that you're that you are uh, in modesty, right? Because what does modest mean? Covering up, right? Avoiding sexual attention. Are you avoiding sexual attention right now? No, right? You're attracting it, right? Why? Because that's what the world has taught you. But what God says, as an Israelite, as a princess of, of God, as his daughter of the Most High Living God, the one that created the heavens and the earth. You understand that, right? And then he created you in his image. As in his image. This is Jesus the Christ. You understand that? Bring it out! Christ was a black man with white woolly hair. Right. He did not create you to walk around this earth with nothing on. He created you to walk around this earth with pride. That right there is a lack of self-esteem and lack of pride Bring in yourself and not knowing who you are. Not knowing that you are an Israelite. Right? Just like with your like like yourself, right? What do a lot of young men do? What do they do with their pants? Sag their pants, right? Why? Lack of self-respect. No one wants to see you're behind. I, I want to see that. Why do I want to know what kind of underwear you're wearing? Pains, fruit of loom? It don't matter to me. Nobody wants to see that type of stuff. That culture has been brought onto us from uh, generation to generation and it got progressively worse, right? Go back to Timothy. We're going to get that. Go back. Read. First Timothy. Verse 10. But which become a woman professing godliness. Is that godliness right there? So what should you do after this day? Change. Change how? Dress differently. Dress differently, right? Because, like we said, understanding is one part. Knowing is one part. But application takes another, right? right. Go back, uh, read, yeah, read the Wisdom of Solomon. Read that. Wisdom, wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 3. With whose, with whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty have created them. The first, off, the first author of beauty is the most high living God. Right. That's right. And he said that what? Go back to go to Genesis. Let's see how God, let's, ha, let's see how we were created. Let's see who we were created after, right? Get Genesis 2. Okay? Because we were created after somebody. We, we reflect the, person, the people who are not here on this earth. And there's someone here that we reflect, that we look like. Right? Read that. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Verse 27. Genesis chapter 1 verse 27. So God created man in his own image. So we men were created after the most high living God. That's Why? Right, because right. God is a black man. So he created right. other black men on this earth to live. Right? Read. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. Then he created the female after who? Men. Right? So if we look like the living God and he created us to look good, then that right, he's gonna make you look good. But that doesn't mean you show it off to everybody in the world. That's not for everybody. Right? You're young, you're 22, right? Okay. You want a husband? You want a family? Okay. Do you think the way that you're going right now, you're gonna achieve that goal? Huh? Not the right man. That, because guess what? You're going to find one man that's going to tell you all the right things. Why? Because I used to be like that. I could tell a woman anything. Ain't that right? I know you had your days, right? We all did. We did. Don't come up here thinking that we were, we were living righteously before this. Was that in um, tight, was it Titus 3? 3 and 10, right? This is the type of men that we, what, the, that we used to be. Because we didn't come up here. We're not talking this because we don't know. We used to live the same life, right? We used to smoke weed. We used to sell drugs. Right? We used to whore out our women. We used to have sex with different women. We, we have women in the world that we have children with. Right? That we have to take care of now. And regrettably so. Why? Because that's not how God ordained things. God didn't ordain us to have sex outside of wedlock. Which a lot of us have nowadays. Right? A lot of us are taught by young, even younger now than, even younger than the age of 16. Many children are having sex at, eight, at ages, what, 13, 12, right? Bring it Way out. before the age of, of consent that the Bible says of, of 20, why, when you're married, after marriage, right? Read that. Titus 3, verse 3. Bring it out. For we, ourselves, also, were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lust and pleasures, living in malice and envy, Hateful and hating one another. 
That's the, these men that are in purple, we were once like that. Right. Our wives, the men, men up here that have wives, guess what? They were like that too. Right. You think right. you were the only one that dressed like that beforehand? No, but guess what we did? What, get, what, what was the action? What's the difference between us standing here and you? Change, change, right? right. What's that, Psalms 19 uh, uh, seven. and seven, right? Change, you understand that, brother? Change, right? What do you have to change? What do you have to change about yourself? You smoke weed, you do drugs, you sell drugs. You have a girlfriend, you said you sell drugs? No, you have a girlfriend? Not anymore? Did you have a girlfriend before? Have you had sex before? Huh? You never had sex? All right, um, what else? How about, what, what's Jesus Christ? Is he white Is he or is he a black man? He's black? All right, so you, you're on the right path. So you have hatred for your brother? Huh? Have you ever? I, there has to be a time. I've hated people before. No. <laughs> I've hated black people before. You hate Hispanic people? That, that's, those are things that happen in our community, right? These are different things that we're involved in. Don't go nowhere, sis. Uh, where well, I got you. Read that. Psalms 19, verse 7. Bring it out. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The laws of God is what converts us and changes us. You understand? The laws of God is what's able to to change us from who we once were to who we are today, all right? There's gotta be something about you because the law, the, what, what Christ said, he said we, he came not for the sick, or he came not for the um, the perfect, he right. came for the sick. You know what I said? He came not for the righteous, but the sinner. Yeah, he came for the righteous, not uh, or he came for the sinner, not for the righteous, right? Christ, out of his own mouth, said, I'm coming for those who aren't perfect. I'm coming for those that, that, are, that are involved in different sins. What, what sin, what is that? I, you gotta speak up, I can't hear you. Sin? Say it again. Hosea. Okay. Luke 5. Luke 5. Luke 5 and 32. Luke 5, let's get that. Alright, because all of us are involved in different things at one time or another. Alright? God Christ didn't come here and he's not speaking this to you because you're not you don't have anything. You just you just don't know it yet. But once you start reading uh, God's laws, you're gonna find out something that you're doing. Something that you're doing wrong. Because all of us got something that we're Start doing wrong. 31. Read that. Verse 31. Luke 5, verse 31. Bring it out. And Jesus answering said unto them, They that are whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. You standing right in front of me, brother, you sick. There's something wrong with you. Just like the rest of us. We all got, we all sick. Bring and not out. physically in Ew. your body we talking about. We talking about spiritually that's right right because the ways of this world have corrupted us the ways of this world has corrupted us to believe into thinking of of that like for example the music what kind of li music li you listen to gospel. huh gospel. there's an issue with that because who, who uh that gospel music who is it praising you listen to um what's his name kirk franklin, kirk franklin you listen to kirk franklin uh, hezekiah walker huh who Tasha Cobbs. Okay, I don't know who that is, but I'm <laughs> I don't listen to gospel music. I don't know who that is. But gospel music, do they do they say that God is a black man? Huh? No, they don't. Do they tell you to wear the fringes? Wear your fringes that all of us have. Does, does gospel music tell you to do that? No, it doesn't. Um, does it tell you to honor the Sabbath day, to not buy and sell on Saturdays and not to work? Does it tell you to do that? No, it doesn't. Um, what is it? To, what, what is the gospel music? What is it teaching you? Because music is a form of learning, right? If I'm if I'm learning, um, yeah, read that. If I'm learning, for example, anything in this world, right? If I'm if I'm listening to to um, hardcore rap, right? Gangster rap. What am I learning to do? Right. Sell drugs, kill, murder. How to be a pimp. Right? These different things, right? That's what is coming into my subconscious. Right, right. So some in some form or aspect I'm a I'm a I'm that's gonna come out of me, whether by uh, vocal or by physical action. Yo. Just like gospel music has a has an effect on your mind and some form of action is gonna come out in, in your in your way. For uh, for example, um read that. Amos five verse twenty three Bring it out Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs because this is what god says about the the songs of gospel music because it's not praising him Bring it none out. of it has anything to do with god why because god is what a black man you That's understand right. that 
how, how, how can we prove that God is a black man? Do you know? How can we prove that? Okay. How, how do we prove that God is a black man? He got hair like wool. He got hair like wool. Does the gospel, sisters, does the gospel music today, does, that, does the gospel music say that Christ and God have hair like wool? No. no. Well, how does it say that he looked like? I get white with blue eyes and all It does, like right? Yeah. So listening to that type of music, guess what you're involved in? Idolatry. Right. Listening to that type of music, you're an idolater, brother. Right. And you got to stop listening to that stuff, right? Keep yeah. reading. Why well, I will not hear the melody of thy vials. God says he, he don't want to listen to that garbage. That's right. That gospel music that you talk, that you talk, that you listening to is trash. Why? Because it's honoring a pagan god. That's right. All they did was take this is a, this was a real life man. This man walked the earth. He was he had, he was a homosexual. He had sex with his sister. What else did he do? He murdered his brother, didn't he? Yes. He did all types of crazy stuff. And the gospel music that you sing in is worshiping and honoring him. Is not worshiping and honoring the one true creator. Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah. That's right. 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 Alright, so one uh you got there's more? Alright, read that. But let judgment run down as waters. Because God says that what? Judgment will come down on all those that continue on in that sin, in that evil. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.